Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Dr. Mary Washington, and we're here at the Next Level Fitness Gym with one of the owners and personal trainer, Dwayne Malone. I'm Dwayne J. Malone. I have my private company, Against All Eyes Fitness, and we're located inside of Next Level Fitness. I've been in the fitness industry for well over 20 years, and I specialize in body transformation, trying to help each individual be the best version that they could possibly be, no matter what they age is are you know definitely we want to make sure that we truly focus on nutrition and i brought you to my playground which is health and fitness and as you can see we have all the toys that an individual would need to be the best version of themselves now why are we here tonight i'm exposing to you what i do to myself i have worked with mr malone for over 10 years for my own personal journey of being able to break away from work and able to keep my nutritional points so that I too can work out and I too can stay healthy so that I also will not become a diabetic, hypertensive, or heaven forbid on dialysis. Um, as he mentioned, nutrition is also the key. And prior to us working out, he gives me a history and physical just like I do to you. He asked me how was my day. He asked me when was my last meal, what injuries or soreness that I have because he is skilled. He's able to adjust my workout. So before we begin the workout, we just start with a basic stretch sitting on a stability ball, um, pulling with the arms going across the body, trying to just loosen up, you know, all up in the shoulder, the delts, and, and that rotator cuff, as long with the tricep. So we're going from the right side to the left side, in front of the body, as well as behind the head. And so that's going to make sure we try not to get any shoulder tweaks, you know, just some basic movement, nothing too fancy. You can just go across. You could go over if you by yourself. If you have a personal trainer or a workout partner, they could give you some assistance and apply some resistance. You read many different theories and belief and research, but definitely I don't see how stretching will hurt any individual. And then we light down on the mat, belly down, and we focus more on just trying to help out a little bit with the hip flexors and the quads, as well as some light ankle rotations. And so then we'll turn over and we'll focus more on stretching out, warming up the hips, loosening up the hamstrings, the glutes. And so now we've had a full body light stretch. What we want to do is start with the most basic of the planks. So to some that may not be as fit as Ms. Washington here, we're just going to start on our knees. And so, and, and so you can start off here and what you'll see, you'll find yourself working your abdominal wall, your transverse abdominal, a little bit in your quads, your delts, and your back is flat. And as you draw in here, and we want to start here. And you want to challenge yourself to be able to count out loud to 10 or 20 seconds to make sure you're not holding your breath as you're drawing in okay. and squeezing your glutes. That's right, squeeze. And tuck those hips in. And when this is no longer challenging for you, then you could go into a progression of raising up. Knees off the mat, onto your toes. You wanna to drop those hips down just a little bit okay. right there. As you can see, the hip is pretty much almost in the line with the shoulder and the back is flat. And she's keeping it and tight. And I'm squeezing, squeezing my squeezing. core. Eight. And she's counting out nine, loud so she doesn't hold her ten, breath. A lot of individuals 11, has a tendency of 12, holding their breath when they do this 13, exercise. 14, listen to my voice, 20, <laughs> 21. Good, relax. Thank you. <laughs> What we'll go in next is again a oldie but goodie. It's an exercise you've probably been doing since elementary school. And again, it's another freebie that works on very big muscle groups. It's a basic push up. And everyone, if you're not rolling out the bed, you're probably pushing up to get out of bed. <laughs> so it's something you literally have to do every day in just your everyday activity. Mm -hmm. Your shoulders. And they're slightly a little bit wider than shoulder width. There we go. And that's a great alignment there. Inhale, exhale. And there's nothing wrong if you have to start here. here. 
because eventually all these will add up to be here. And so those are two exercises. That they don't cost you anything. You could do them at home. You could do them when you travel. You could do them super set it in between machines. If you do have a gym membership and you love to work out at gym, you have many different options. And so what we're going to show you next is just a basic squat. Because okay. again, it's an exercise that you have to do every day. You go to the restroom in the morning mm -hmm. to get in your car to get out your car. You're always squatting, getting up out of a chair, getting in a chair. Stance, and you can see that the ankle is, is aligned under the knee, and the knees are somewhat even with the hip, or depending on how high up you are. This is a basic squat. The knees don't extend too much past the toes. All she's doing is, is from a, a bench. Pushing through my heels. Pushing through her heels. And squeezing my glutes. Squeezing her glutes and opening up her toes. You don't want to curl your toes up. You want to try to spread them open as much as possible. And when you come up, you want to make sure that you don't lock your knees out. Because now you can keep all the tension and the quad, the hamstring, and the glutes. Once you start locking your knees, and then you're gonna distribute all the weight into your kneecap. But if you're deep conditioned because you have been having poor nutrition and years of being inactive, then you'll probably have knee problems anyway. And you wanna to try to avoid that as much as possible. The reason that we are here at the Next Level Fitness is also to show you how it is possible to reverse medical diseases, specifically I'm talking about your high blood pressure, your diabetes, um, certain stages of kidney disease from stage one to stage four, high cholesterol. By working out and burning these calories helps with your circulation. It helps build up the cardiac muscle, which is a skeletal muscle as well. It also helps with um, you sweating some of your toxins off because that is another way of eliminating toxins. And these are ways that you, along with proper nutrition to feed your immune system, to feed you with energy to go through a workout, these are ways that your body also helps heal and reverse some of these conditions for what you are taking so many medications for.